So hello and welcome to See Through Podcast presented to you by Hermans. Today we are joined by the wonderful Mary Martin who is an artist currently living in Dublin. Mary, thank you so much for being here. <laughs> thank you. Yay. Oh my God, this Mary, is so crazy. tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, yeah, your background, whatever. From the start. Mm-hmm. From the from very, start. very start. Yeah. Day one. Day one. <laughs> day one, 22nd of May, yeah. year 2000. <laughs> what a day. I know. Born in Dublin. Mm-hmm. Um, raised in Dublin. Yeah. Um, studied painting. I went abroad and studied painting in Brighton mm-hmm. University from 2018 to 2021. So kind of halfway through mm-hmm. we got the, the COVID yeah. kick. Of course. But um, graduated. Uh, got a degree, <laughs> um, did a year working in a gallery afterwards, which was great crack. Um, well, it was like a arts charity slash organization called Anka. Best job ever. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> Shout out Anka. And then um, I came back to Dublin a year ago. Very so nice. So I was kind of missing, missing home. Yeah. Cost of living. Crazy. Oh, yeah. Why not come yeah. back to the most yeah. expensive <laughs> city in Europe? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do you remember when you first got interested in art? Like that first, like what was it? In school? Was it at home? Was when you were younger? What what first drew you to art? It was, I'd say, at home. I come from like a a family of artists, really, okay. or everyone was kind of heavily influenced by the creative mm-hmm. realm. Mm-hmm. Um, so reared on crayons, markers. So I'd say, um, yeah, and as well, like I, it was kind of what I was good at and I enjoyed I think like in school I didn't have the best attention span maybe not quite so academic but I knew that I kind of and you know when you're in school that it's like uh, all the kids will be like oh you're going to be the one who does this Mm -hmm. and I would be like oh yeah Mary's going to be the artist Mm. and I guess I completely adopted it. <laughs> <laughs> I was peer pressured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now I'm here. Yeah, look at us. Yeah. But yeah, so yeah, basically at home. Yeah. I'd say. Did you do art in secondary school? I did. How'd you get on? I mixed review. Mixed review. I think I th- I think we talked mm, about this before. Bit, yeah. We've had yeah. like a chat. I think apparently it's gotten a lot better. Mm. That it seems a lot more interesting. Like I saw there was the was the Una Seeley painting mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. of Caelan yeah. Panton that was in mm-hmm. the Leaving Cert last year, which yeah. I thought was really cool. Um, Sal, Salvatore's Sal Leaving Cert painting. In, Sal was in as well. Leaving yeah. Cert as well. They've got, yeah. Yeah. gotten finger on the pulse now. Yeah, yeah, which I think was really needed. Mm-hmm. I feel like when I was doing my Leaving Cert, it was very much still like, draw a pair of shoes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. paint <laughs> on a piece of fruit. Same with me mm. when I did art, yeah. Yeah, and it was just very kind yeah. of... Mm. But... Um, yeah, I yeah. was like, I'm, I'd like to go to art college. Nothing else nice. really. And was it kind of painting you were into or did you come at it liking kind of drawing? Or? I I think painting mm. was something I always enjoyed. And then I think I really, yeah, I kind of got into it at the end, towards the end of the Leaving Cert year. Um, and I'd applied for like foundation years mm. um, in the UK. Okay. But I didn't get into any of them. Right. And I only got into art colleges in the UK. <laughs> so I was mm-hmm. like, oh, well, I guess I've applied yeah, yeah. to do painting yeah. in like all these different places. So I'm just going to do painting, yeah. which I think um, was good. I'm mm. really happy that I did do a specialized painting course and I can always go back and do a ger- something else. Like a yeah, find build on your practice. But I could never even like imagine doing sculpture or something like yeah, 3D. Yeah. That's almost like beyond... But never for now, never. never say never. Watch the space. Yeah. Watch the space. <laughs> um, so from from starting kind of in Brighton, doing your your course, mm-hmm. how would you say your style has evolved since your early days in college up to now? Oh, well, definitely early days of college. I was completely overwhelmed mm-hmm. and confused. Eighteen kind of moving somewhere where you know no one Mm -hmm. and then dropped into art school which you've kind of had yeah like no foundation year everything you've done is kind of like with leave insert and like I did some things outside of just leave insert art like for myself or working on my own portfolio Mm. um but going into first year it was very figurative Um, I think I started painting communion photos okay that was the first yeah. thing I did so I started off doing that for a while 
which then evolved into like crowds and the kind of dynamics of crowds. Mm -hmm. And then I ran that into the crowd because I really wasn't interested in it. Yeah. And I was kind of like, oh, I really don't know what I'm doing. I feel like a bit of a imposter mm. being here. Mm. Um, then I didn't really paint for my whole, like the whole of second year, mm. maybe, and the first half of third year. So there's three years. Okay, there's yeah. There's only a three-year yeah, course yeah. in most art yeah, in the UK. Um, and I got, so yeah, what was it? Second year did absolutely whack. Had like, I was like, oh, I don't want to paint anymore. Mm. This is like, just, I don't know what I'm doing. Mm. And then I think I had a really bad tutorial in my third year. Um, while I was writing my dissertation, I was really interested in the dissertation I was writing in mm. um, about or writing full stop. Yeah. And then um, I had a really bad tutorial and they were basically like, you got to pull your socks up, girl. <laughs> <laughs> pull them up. So I was just like, OK, I'm going yeah. to get look through my phone, thing. see what I take pictures of. What do I like? I've always been really drawn to the sea. So then I just was messing around on Photoshop, mm. sticking a fish head onto a mermaid's purse. And then it yeah, was born. Yeah. <laughs> the rest is history. Yes, the spawn. Yeah, mm. spawning Lovely. moment. <laughs> so is that your main source of inspiration at the moment? Is it the sea or is it what's, what, are, what are your main sources of in inspiration at the moment for your work? I would say the sea is a big, well, like fish in the sense that like the symbol of the fish is something that I incorporate into mm. all of my paintings as it's kind of a... A way for, since there are species that don't exist, it's like whoever is looking at this painting can grab the fish mm. in it and maybe imagine it better or like mm. maybe could exist amongst us or the past or in the future mm. or, um, and I think like kind of folklore, mm. the liminal realm, our kind of growing disconnection with um, the natural and liminal worlds is Kind of, yeah, the main theme of what I work with and how um, through the species that I've created is kind of approaching these bigger, more mm -hmm. sinister happenings in the world. But through a more accessible lens, I find it can be really daunting mm -hmm. these days, like tackling like the current state of the Anthropocene. And mm -hmm. I think um, when you do it through something so comical or surreal, mm -hmm. I think it's a great way to answer questions rather than being yeah. so black and white and right and wrong. I mm. think um, the surrealism yeah. in answering those questions. And I have so many great conversations with people from all over the gaff, mm. kind of with different <laughs> like stories that relate to fish because yeah. they're yeah. such powerful symbols in like so many religions course, and yeah, yeah. cultures that like everyone will have their own story. And mm. some of them are, are so similar to each other. It's mm. like how different cultures will adapt it. Yeah, um, to learn life's moralistic questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah well, I guess because they're of this earth, but it's so separate to how humans kind of interact with each other and everything else. It's fun to explore it mm. through that. So the two works that you're the three works that you actually have in in Jurad, were they? I know they had their journey, a journey of their own, because they were displayed in Berlin. So were, did you paint them in Berlin, or how did it how did it come about? So I about? painted them in Berlin. So there's one of them's a diptych. <coughs> yeah. Is it this? Not neither of these two. There's one here as well. Yes, <laughs> those two, and then yeah. that one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I painted them over there. I kind of got to Berlin in mid June. Mm -hmm. Um, with tact, so I was in Prenzlauer Berg. Yeah. Very Love swanky spot. part of yeah. town. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just by Mauer Park and it was really beautiful, super residential. Mm -hmm. um, and I had a bedroom slash studio space, Sweet. which I was really apprehensive about having. I was kind of like, oh, like I'm going to turn into a, like a feral <laughs> hermit. I'm going to come back to <laughs> Dublin <laughs> with hair. <laughs> um, but I loved it. Like, um, I think I went into it kind of with the idea that uh, my work in Dublin has gotten quite tight and isn't really as interesting or kind of um, fulfilling mm. or mm. fruitful yeah. for me anymore. Mm -hmm. um, and I was kind of wanting to just play around, experiment. I came over with a lot of... Um, <coughs> paper that I'd collaged it was um with a technique it's a Japanese technique called sumi nagashi okay where um it, which is like a marbling technique mm. they use marbling ink on paper 
and I came over with loads of that paper and I was like oh I want to mess around with this to have like breaks Mm -hmm. between the painting yeah and then um yeah just kind of have fun and I think the work became a lot more abstract or towards abstraction yeah, looser yeah um, and I really wanted to kind of be able to capture that energy again that I think I had when I first started painting the work but I did Very good. Um, not to knock all the other bits <laughs> I just find this more fun yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> very good so. in terms of then like I think it's the kind of concept that a lot of people look at and it's kind of it ties in to our upcoming exhibition but uh, do you think travel and that idea of you know finding new experiences and new cultures I think that's like you were just in Berlin do you think that's important do you think that helps totally I think um, yeah anywhere you go is going to influence you Definitely. whether it's your practice or who you are mm-hmm. um, in Berlin I found it really good for what I was trying to do because I was trying to treat things less preciously and work kind of you know, yeah, like treating things yeah. as sketches almost instead of having to be finished pieces. I think Berlin could really accommodate that because the idea of an exhibition and conversation around art there is so open. Mm-hmm. And like people have exhibitions and it'll be just in a park on a yeah. Tuesday. Yeah. And everything, there's so much going on that doesn't have to be on a really big, mm-hmm. like major level to mm-hmm. get recognition. And I think people are very happy to talk about their practice and art over there because I guess being there supported quite well by yeah. the government I believe in the mm-hmm. arts yeah. Yeah. and then as well like um, yeah yeah, just I just love sharing and then changing your environment and everything always helps with getting the creative creative juices Definitely. flowing yeah everyone's super like fun over yeah. there and just about like <laughs> Yeah, yeah, party time. time. <laughs> party time. Party time. <laughs> so you said that you kind of had your room and then a studio space in where you were staying. Um, what do you need to kind of make your work? What's what? How do you set yourself up in your studio to to work best? So, <clears throat> what do I need? I usually need a table. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a table and my palettes. Nice. Um, I yeah. usually just have two bits of perspex. Mm-hmm. that I paint and because I only really use acrylic yeah I do only to... use acrylic yeah, yeah, yeah. only really yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who is she who does she think she is <laughs> only really um, I'll have all my acrylics mm-hmm. my kind of palette that I've perfected she loves it and yeah. then um, my brushes a wall yeah maybe a bit of music yeah what's, what's on rotation what are you playing when you're in there what am I playing in oh. <laughs> I think I am on course to be in CMAT's number one. Really? <laughs> because I, out CMAT I literally have like, um, there's like a few albums that I'll have that I'll have downloaded and I'll just put them yeah. on loop. I'm not really actually concentrating on what I'm really listening to. So it very much could yeah. be. Yeah. If I do get number one listener, I will be gagged. <laughs> <laughs> that Finally. Be so yeah. yeah, literally a bit of recognition for my hard work. <laughs> <laughs> All the hard graft. Do yeah. you know? But very um. Good. Do you like so you need noise around you when you're making? Yeah, nice. a little bit, a little hum. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Background, background too noise. crazy. Background noise. Yeah, because yeah. I am really easily distracted too. Like if someone yeah. starts talking to me, I was so bad for it in um, our college. Like, really? Yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah. Just having the chats. Oh yeah. yeah, and then like COVID hit, and it was mm. just me like, in oh, the studio, yeah. and yeah, I was that's like, so what weird. Is this? Yeah. I got so much work done. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no wonder I struggled I've been so chatting. much. Yeah. I've been chatting so much. Yeah, yeah. literally. So, in terms of obviously you're back in Dublin now, mm-hmm. what events, art, or otherwise you're looking forward to over the next couple of months coming up in Dublin? Mm. I am looking forward to. There's some things that I'm looking forward to that I don't know if I can mention. Oh, but there's gonna please, be oh, shame, a shameless plug. Yeah, shameless plug. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you want to drop them, drop yeah. them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know yet if I can. Okay. But I, I will. Okay. Okay. But what else is she <laughs> <laughs> coming on the podcast to be coy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm just teasing. Yeah. <laughs> um, it'd be really funny if that was all a joke. Is all I like, guess <laughs> just trying to sound really important. <laughs> I, yeah, I've got loads. Yeah. There's a lot coming up. So I much actually coming can't up. tell you guys much. Yeah. yeah no, I'm gonna have to talk really to my manager. Yeah. I, let me just call my manager real quick. Yeah. Um, but what am I looking forward to coming up in Dublin? at the moment I've been really kind of bad at keeping up mm. with Anne 
I went to, what have I been to recently? I went into the National Gallery. I saw the Shelter exhibition. Yes, yeah. Which was yeah. good. I really went, nice. I was out in the Highlands, checking nice. out um, exhibitions out there last mm-hmm. weekend. What else have I seen? Kira Lee. Yeah. She had uh, she exhibition had on in the Horse yeah. Gallery. Yeah. Um, really but nice. since I've only been back, I'm kind of... Yeah. Yeah, of course. I'm, you're I think getting I'm back too to scared yeah. to like see what everyone's doing. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh god, mm. no, because I have loads of really important things that I can't mention coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys wait on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's coming. It's coming. Yeah, nice. Well, yeah. In terms of like, I suppose because Dublin is small, it has there's a kind of community as well. So, mm. but like, what do you think are the main challenges of being a practicing artist in Dublin at the moment? Oh, well, definitely rent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Straight Doig. away. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I think Costa Studio is pretty... Yeah, crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of hard. The fact that everyone's bleeding leaving. Yeah. Because it is too expensive to stay. That is hard. Um. Yeah. And I think, yeah, like there's so many creative spaces closing down. Do you know, but I think it's also making way. I, I think it's actually going to be. We it could be a really exciting time. Yeah, for the arts in the mm-hmm. sense that, like, because there is so little support. Yeah, from yeah. somewhere. Um, <laughs> that like, people are names. making yeah, like yeah. alternative things. Like I, I saw there's like a venue that's opening up. Yeah. Um. Someone's Plum bought. Oh, I had to have a look. It was at Rue Honey. Or something. Oh yeah, the um, guys from Plum Comfort. Yeah, are, they have taken over a space on the north side. I believe that yeah. they're going to do events in and have a little community kind of. Mm-hmm. And it's up. all done on Patreon. Yeah, so it's yeah. really it's cool. Not, it's all community funded. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, yuck. Yeah, that that so is it is exciting. Um, mm. Yeah, there is like the the collectives that are in Dublin do you know they do a lot to mm-hmm. try and keep things moving and yeah. flowing so no, there's definitely things to be optimistic about but yeah yeah sure and yeah. I think like everyone's just so much fun <laughs> do you know like I love I Dublin I just love Dublin I do yeah. love Dublin <laughs> yeah, and like everyone's yeah. such a good crack there's like yeah okay it might be a little hard right now <laughs> yeah <laughs> we'll get through it yeah, yeah. it's <clears throat> change so it can't keep getting worse do you know <laughs> yeah. the struggles are, you... are making people work together yeah yeah exactly and that's really nice with in terms of your work at the moment, what's kind of most important for you to represent, or what are you kind of looking at at the moment, in terms of get the work that you're doing at the moment? Mm. Yeah. What Likewise. am I looking at? <laughs> I think I well recently I've started, yeah, like with my solo show that I had over mm. there, um, alter. Yeah, um, talk about that. Which means it's an Irish word mm. that means other side or the afterlife. Yeah. Or another world, mm. so like a kind of a non tangible space, mm-hmm. and um, kind of thinking because my work kind of discusses yeah, so like our disconnection with natural and liminal worlds, um, mostly due to kind of hyper capitalist society, mm-hmm. um, and I think through I read a really interesting book, and um, called Capitalist Realism. Mark Fisher. Mark Fisher. <laughs> And I was a bit of a layman, I think, self-proclaimed. So I found it kind of hard to get into Mm -hmm. the introduction. I had like flashcards on my phone. (coughs) Yeah, kind of proper nerd (laughs) style. She was nerding out. But I loved it. It was yeah, it's excellent. It was such an amazing (coughs) analysis. Yeah, and really kind of accessible Mm -hmm. after the first introduction. I was after you get past the children of men. uh, Yeah, comparisons. (laughs) Yeah. Once you get past that, it's totally, you can understand it. Yeah. And I think um, through kind of reading that, the different kind of reels mm-hmm. and how a non-tangible space yeah. can never be taken mm-hmm. and how it can create a space where either I can have an open dialogue with mm-hmm. myself and what's going on or kind of um, what's concerning me. Mm-hmm. Or I can have a conversation or open dialogue with another person um, who's engaging with the paintings or mm-hmm. then the figures that I create in the paintings. Yeah. So um, I think I've been really looking at that, like the kind of idea of creating a realm that can never be taken. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, he writes a lot about ontology, and I always think that when I look at your paintings, they are actually existing outside a kind of temporal space in terms of they could be, they could have existed so long ago, they could exist in the future, or they could have never existed. They could be just, you know, an imaginary kind of realm. Mm. So I can really, I can really see that being the mm. direction they take. Rock and yeah. roll. Yeah. Are they, are they kind of constructions? Do you, do you look into kind of actually building the characters before you start painting them? Or how do you, how do you assemble the kind of the figures and things that you make in your paintings? So I think um, I went with a different approach while I was in Berlin. I like kind of moved away from the digital yeah. collages that I'd originally been messing around with. I thought they were starting to just get really flat. Um, so I was just kind of experimenting. Kind of like colour was the most important cool. part for me. And then it was either um, and the paper. Um, kind of making shapes like whether there'd be a shape in the paper that I cut out and then work around that shape mm -hmm. or whether it's kind of blocking in negative space and then kind of messing around with figures but it was a lot more organic it wasn't really yeah mm -hmm. I kind of just said oh mm -hmm. well, yeah well, where do I want this one's limbs going <laughs> oh maybe this <laughs> or no 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 yeah, it's, not, it's not working so yeah it was just kind of a lot more intuitive Very I good. think less nice. um yeah yeah. And the spaces that them figures are in, like, do you repeat that? Is that a repeated space in your head? Or is that something that just develops each time? I think a bit of both. Mm. I think at the moment with the recent paintings, they've kind of been less literal. Mm. I think like even the last painting that I had in the Hermit's mm -hmm. Room mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, was like you could definitely see parts of yeah. like the kind of the terrain landscape, landscape yeah. yeah yeah and um i think with these ones i tried to move away from that yeah. a little bit because i was i was having a chat with um one of the one of my co-residents who mm. i lived with izzy she's yeah. great hi izzy <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um and she i was kind of like yeah like i've been doing these landscapes and i've kind of been struggling with them like they're not really doing much for me mm. anymore mm. Um, and she was like, yeah, well, I guess what you're doing is you're you're trying to discuss or, yeah, like discussing the power of storytelling and how storytelling, a landscape is never like they can. It changes from ear to ear yeah. or from imagination to imagination. Yeah. And I think um, hinting at that instead of like what you were doing, which is more literal, like yeah. a novel in describing what's there. I kind of started going more at hints. So it's kind of just like, oh, do I want another peek? Maybe I'll have another peek. It's, yeah, I think I've just gotten a lot more kind of intuitive. Yeah. yeah. You can suggest it without having to yeah. go full head on show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you happy to be back by the sea? Yeah. For being in Berlin. <laughs> yeah, Berlin, like it's Lake Central. And yeah. also, I think I saw the moon like three times Seriously? for the whole the summer. Like pollution or whatever. I think it was yeah. like the buildings are so tall. Mm. And then I think the moon is naturally quite close to the horizon. I believe I was told this this could be an absolute <laughs> lie. Don't quote me on that. Yeah, yeah, do not quote me. Yeah, we need a producer to fact check this. Yeah, <laughs> please. Um, so, um, yeah, I missed the moon and I missed... The sea, definitely. Yeah. I was swimming. I was in Clifton last weekend and I was swimming in the sea and it was oh, stunning. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it was so good. The Atlantic hits different. Yeah. It, does. it does. It's so warm. It it's and like way warmer stunning. than over here. I was actually talking mm. to my dad about this. Yeah. It's the stunning. The Gulf, isn't it? The Mexican. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, We're blessed. Strange. We're just blessed, blessed yeah. on the West Coast. We actually are. Yeah. 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 Well, we're I not on the West that. Coast right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. I'm a Sligo girl. I have to say that. Are you? Shout out Sligo. Yeah. No <laughs> way. <laughs> Shout out to Lego. That is so cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm a seaside I'm girl. so jealous. I always <laughs> like, when people are from You need Dublin, to come to Lego. Like, it's from? the, it's yeah. the most beautiful place in the world. I have been uh, to Lego. Sligo is gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, fall Yeah, fall fall like fall to Ireland. Ireland. You, yeah. Fall to Ireland is not sponsoring this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so thank you so much. We do the around, quick yeah. fire round. This is, this is <gasps> quick fire questions, yeah. Yeah. Okay, oh you're my God. What's your favorite color? Blue. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Um, I think it reminds me of my childhood. Not nice. because I was blue. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think my mum used to dress me in blue all the time. Okay. So it kind of subconsciously 
Yeah, blue. Like <laughs> shit. Nice. Or red. I do like red. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are your so you're stuck on an island you can bring three things with you now just to clarify because we've had to do this for everyone your food any medical needs etc are all <laughs> provided for These are three on this fun, island fun items. three luxury fun items that you, you need to bring with you but you can only bring three only bring three mm-hmm. oh I would bring um, my headphones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, is your phone always going to be charged? <laughs> <laughs> your phone, fo- your phone will be charged. Yeah. Infinite yeah. charge in the yeah. silent jet. My headphones. Yeah. Um, Infinite charge. I bring my journal. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. I think you could make a whole lot of money yeah. if, like, you manage to escape. a memoir on that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, oh, and an eyelash curler. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Those are my. Three. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the memoir of Mary Martin in Ireland and an eyelash curler. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So like you never a know. A girl in her eyelash curler. Very cool. Um, so I mean, we talked a little bit about traveling for yeah and creating from that. But do you have a, a trip that you've been on that was like you know, really informative to your practice or something that really influenced you or elements you took back? Berlin. Probably. Yeah, yeah. Like that was a really big one. I haven't really done a whole lot of like serious traveling. Mm. Um, probably not since I went into railing, you know. Yeah, when yeah, yeah. Into railing, um, I did that, but like I w- wouldn't have gotten a whole whole lot here out of it, out of it yeah. other than a good laugh. Yeah, we <laughs> oh, had a good, good time. Giggle. Yeah, <laughs> a great time. So I'd say Berlin. Yeah, very good. I'd say. Nice. What is your most treasured work that you've created? <gasps> Only one. <sighs> to pick a baby. Oh, a painting <laughs> called a child, one child. my favorite child yeah. is a painting called Deusa, which is the first painting that I kind of did in this like body of work that I'm mm-hmm. currently working on. So probably around coming up to three years ago, I painted it. Okay, and it took me like twenty minutes, and it was amazing. Yeah, the just energy. Oh, it was so good. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Well, no, I just really enjoyed painting it. Mm. It was like the kind of first time I really enjoyed painting in a really long time. So okay, I think it, nice. it has like a significance. But then I really like Yeah. That dip that tech. Is nice. yeah. The drip tech. The drip track. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. Um, okay. If you had to spend the uh, spend the day with an artist, living or dead, mm. otherwise <laughs> <laughs> who are you picking and why? Oh, I've got like two. Hmm? It would either be Frida Kahlo. Yeah. Or Paul Arego. Oh, yes. Lovely. Yeah. Thank you for some so. words of wisdom. Mm. Is there an artist that's most ac- impacted your work? Like your work that you do? I'd say Paul Arrego mm. is a big one. Jacqueline de mm. is a big one. Um, Ooh, that's hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of anyone. I've always been a Kiefer fan, but I don't think that really pops up a whole lot my practice nice. I always feel really inspired after I go to one of his exhibitions even though what I do is not it's really not like it yeah, yeah, yeah. like it at all mm. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah you would be big and um, Kiki Smith oh yeah yeah nice I love Kiki Kiki Smith's really cool um, what do you think Ireland needs or Dublin <laughs> needs to kind of get this cultural the cultural space we have to kind of bring it on and allow it to thrive You've just been in Berlin, which is oh, culture, back. culture crazy. So, more social houses. <laughs> <laughs> Say <Yes>, less. <Okay. laughs> I think that would be good. Um, I think making art more accessible to mm. everyone, regardless uh, of whether you've got an education in art or not. I feel like it can be quite elitist, and I think we don't really try to break that down as mm-hmm. much. How can we break it down? I think we just have to talk about it more. I think, and also like, I think language, especially like there is the art lingo. Of course, yeah. yeah which yeah. definitely has its place. Mm-hmm. But in Berlin, what they would do is they'd have like the big art lingo. And then they'd also have like a kind of <laughs> bullet pointed version yeah, as well. A layman's version. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was like, that is so mm-hmm. smart. Yeah. And then as well in a gallery that I used to li- um not live in <laughs> work in <laughs> that I mentioned earlier. Yeah. One of my jobs was doing um audio descriptions of paintings. So say if you were like visually impaired, mm. you'd hear 
my voice <laughs> telling you exactly what this painting looked like. So yeah. there's the art lingo and then there's everything in between. I think Words, we just yeah. have to widen it. Yeah. yeah. I think because contemporary art in itself can be quite like closed off and mm. unless you, you know the lingo, you're it's going to be pretty indecipherable to understand what kind of concepts they're getting across. Yeah. So it's it so is alienating. Definitely like a more accessible spaces for mm. people to just mm, for sure. muck about. Mm. Sure. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> um, and better meal deal options. Yeah. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Help our it. culture. Yeah. yeah. Better meal deal. <laughs> oh, that's one thing they do do better in the UK. Yeah, just saying. Come they on. have so many. You go on a Tesco yeah. into the meal deal fridge and holy like yeah, anything. <laughs> so <laughs> much. And then I come back here and I'm like, Cajun chicken okay, again. Okay, quick fire round. Oh. What's your dream meal deal combo? Oh. <laughs> that's well, a great that's question. A great yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, back in the UK, what would yeah. I be getting? Oh, I'm going to get... I love... <laughs> okay, so definitely a packet of cheese and onion okay. crisps. A Diet Coke. Yeah. And I'd say, oh, I'd kind of go on rotation mm. and I'd keep eating these three sandwiches till I got sick of them. <laughs> one of them was like this avocado chicken thing. Yeah. The next one was a classic cheese and onion sandwich okay. where they get cheese, grated cheese, <laughs> chopped up onion in a bowl and mix in. I think it's like a lot of salad cream and mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> Mash it around. <laughs> Spread it on the bread. It is so good. It, it's like crack. It's so good. <laughs> Egg salad sandwich. Also yes. like that. I've got really like poor taste. Yeah. Dude, my flatmates used to always give out to me. They're like, you eat like it's World War Two. <laughs> <Yeah. It's a laughs> tin fish. Ration times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, ration times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What uh, can I say? Note to Tesco beef. Ireland: We don't want the UK salad cream sandwich. <laughs> no. Yeah, you can leave that one. Yeah. But Feed I'm the just artists, sick. Please. Yeah, I'm sick of. Cajun chicken or chicken tikka and yeah, that's all yeah, you can get yeah. or maybe uh, chicken Caesar plain ham chicken and stuff just ham chicken like too yeah. much chicken too much chicken yeah. even chicken less well. chicken to the retailers of Ireland <laughs> yeah even though chicken's good but where's like turkey coleslaw <laughs> <laughs> you have a whole other you know realm you could go I into <laughs> sandwich creation uh, yeah. I, I think they're my favourite food <laughs> anything could be turned into a sandwich it's true. <laughs> Lasagna sandwich is a magical thing. Yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> yeah. Mm, you should, yeah. <laughs> Go home, should I'm going to make a Cogio Pepe sandwich. Yeah, Cogio oh, yeah. Pepe. Oh. Yeah, pasta sandwiches. <gasps> yeah. yeah. Why has no one thought of this? What do you mean? <laughs> My granddad makes spaghetti bolognese baguettes. They're the best what? things ever. <laughs> he is subverting the forest yeah. of oh, yeah. sandwich making. <laughs> he calls them stromboli. I don't know why. <laughs> All the Italian is just dying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Italian is passing away at this contest. Yeah, yeah. But um, Mary, do you have anything else you're kind of um, you're you're up to and then at the minute anything else your your work is? What are you what what I'm work up for? to at the moment? Just figuring things just out. Just chilling. Settling yes. back in. Having some fun. <clears throat> meeting new people. Cute. Um, oh, excited for culture night. Yeah, yeah. Next, oh. next week. Next week. Best yeah. night of the year. Anything yeah. you're looking forward to? What am I looking forward to? Actually, I have a, few, I have a list of things that I have mm. to go through mm. and decide with my yeah. friends. I think we we're going to make a timetable. Because last, last year we didn't do it well. Yeah. Um, but I think this year we're gonna uh, <laughs> very regimented. Yeah. If people want to get in touch with you, if people want to know more about Mary Martin, where did it go? Oh, mm. <laughs> so <laughs> my address is <laughs> <laughs> my phone number. Yeah. Do not. I am single. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, Instagram. Yeah. yeah. Mary Martin double underscore. Or my website, which is www.marymartinstudio.com, where I kept a blog yes, while I was in I Berlin. And then you can kind of get um, a more ins like, yeah, insight into who I yeah, am, yeah. what I was at, acting the magus. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about <gasps> how your writing accompanies the works that you have. but mm, The blog. Yeah, the blog. <laughs> Talk to me about the blog a bit. The blog. Well, it was kind of an idea that I'd started... Um, I did a residency on a barge last year mm. and I kept a blog. It was like every week, but it just wasn't working out. I think I wasn't too funky yeah. fresh. Yeah. 
um, in the <laughs> in the brain. <laughs> so it turned into a bit of a a pity party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so I knew I wanted to do a blog and had them bi-weekly and it was kind yes. of a way to reflect on what I was yeah, doing. Structure it. Give more insight. And also it was, oh yeah, more insight into mm. what I was at and the kind of general themes of my work. Mm -hmm. um, it was kind of, it was also super informal. So like so yeah. Weeks, I was, I kind of said it was like a shopping list. Yeah, and it could kind of be different. I it could be whatever I wanted it nice. to be. Every yeah, week. yeah, yeah. Cool. Well, check out the blog, everyone. Yeah, yes. check out the yeah. blog for sure. And mm -hmm. Mary, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. Uh, thank you to everybody for listening, and thank you to Darren, our producer, for all of his hard work making this possible. And uh, you can find us at Herman's Auctioneers on Instagram and Twitter, and at Herman.ie for the auctions. Yep. And everyone check out Mary's work in Jorad. Yep. October 13th to 16th. Mm -hmm. Studio 10. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs>